being held. And according to Palestinian medical authorities, tens of thousands have been killed in Gaza. Our News writer David Gonzalez has reaction from the Council on American Islamic Relations and the Museum of Tolerance. Almost a year after the Hamas terrorist attacks in Israel on October 7th, the ripple effects of the massacre that left more than 1,400 dead continues to be felt. Every life is a sacred life, whether it's Israeli, Palestinian, Jewish, Muslim, or Christian. Hussam Eluj, executive director of the Greater Los Angeles Council on American Islamic Relations, says cases of Islamophobia have spiked drastically since the war between Israel and Hamas started. We used to receive about 30 reported cases in Southern California from people who were subjected to bullying, discrimination, hate talk, hate threats. Now the number is closer to 100 to 120 a month. No person, any walk of life, any religion should ever be attacked, should ever feel afraid, should ever be hurt. Jewish leaders believe both sides can live side by side in harmony, but tough conversations need to be had. But in order to do that, we have to all agree on some common principles. We don't kill each other. We don't murder each other. We live in peace. Eluge says the root cause of the conflict is the occupation of Palestine. And it's time to end this occupation. So we don't have to have another October 7th or October 6th or 5th or 4th where innocent Palestinians or Israelis die. He says peace is possible, but not without the main issue being resolved. We need freedom, justice for the Palestinian people. Every people. Israelis, Palestinians, everybody in the world deserves that. CARE plans to host vigils at mosques across Southern California on October 7th to pray for peace. Reporting in Anaheim, David Gonzalez, ABC7 Eyewitness News.